Hello my dear friends, I welcome you all to our channel and as you all know that I am doing different grammar lessons in each video of ours. So today I have taken up the topic tenses. Okay, in this video we are going to learn all the 12 forms of tenses and their uses with example. Okay, I will I'll tell you rules, I'll tell you uses and then I will tell you example as well okay so that everything will be candid clear to you all all right so without much delay let's begin with our today's class at first we need to understand what is tense so tenses denote the time and the state of an action so first thing that we need to remember is that it tells us time and the state of an action this is more important because even if the thing is being told right now it might refer something else Okay, I'll give you example of that. Let me read out few points and then I'll show you the example. Though they are related to the present, past and future, they do not always convey the sense of time with which they are linked. Now here, even if the things are being told in present, but sometimes it shows something else. It, it tells us the state of an action when it is being done. Say for example, I am going to Delhi tonight. Okay, I am going to Delhi tonight. This is present continuous tense. Okay, but right now the person, the speaker is not going. Okay, I am going to Delhi tonight. Okay, it will be done. Right, so these kind of sentences shows state of an action particularly which we need to understand. The simple present tense for example is used to express a habitual action or a general fact related to all times and may also be used to convey a purely future action. So here, as we know, simple present tense, it uh, tells us habitual action, general fact related to all times and uh, it conveys future action as well. Like, water boils at 100 degrees centigrade. Here comes our bus. Drive with patience. He is a teacher, etc. Okay. The present continuous tense similarly may be used to express a future action though it is generally used to express a continuous action in the present. So here it expresses a future action. The example which I have already given just now uh, that is I am going to Delhi tonight. Okay. I am going to Delhi tonight. So this is future action but right now it is being said which is present continuous tense. All right. Division of tenses. For convenience sake, we divide the present, the past and the future tense into four categories. Present indefinite, continuous progressive, perfect tense and perfect continuous. So each tenses, present, past and future has its four parts. Okay, present, simple present, present continuous, present perfect and present perfect continuous. In this way, we have the same category for past as well and future as well. We will learn each one of them one by one. But before that, you need to be acquainted with verb 1, verb 2 and verb 3. Okay, you have to go through this, these three lines, verb 1, verb 2 and verb 3 because without this, you won't be able to understand the rules. Okay, so you all can take the screenshot and uh, read it so that you will be very clear with the rules. Now we will move towards simple present tense. Let's see the form. In positive sentence, the form will be subject, verb 1, ES, S or ES. Okay. The example is here. He works hard. I work hard. He work hard. He works hard. It is because he, the subject, is singular. Therefore, we use singular verb that is with S. Okay. And first form of verb that is verb 1. I is exception so with I we use plural verb that is work and another verb hard okay so I work hard this is according to this format right in negative sentence we use subject we just add do or does not with verb 1 let's see the example he subject does not work hard I do not work hard so in negative sentence we have to use not along with the auxiliary verb. Next, let's move to interrogative sentence. Do, does, 
we use in the front with subject and verb one okay let's see the example does he work hard or do they work hard okay i hope it's clear see the note s out here means subject v means verb and v1 verb 1 okay let's see its uses and example simple present tense is used to describe habitual action like reminder gets up early it also used to describe facts and truths like water boils at 100 degrees centigrade next to express a planned future event the train leaves for delhi at 8 pm for a fact which is true at present sudha teaches in a college dash is running commentaries in running commentaries sham hits the ball ajit misses it in exclamatory sentences simple present tense is also used here comes our bus exclamation mark to express a repeated action i often go to see her to introduce quotations wordsworth says the world is too much with us next in time and conditional clauses if we work hard we will succeed to show a present state he is a teacher last one to issue instructions or offer or advice example drive with patience so in simple present tense we all get these many uses and we have discussed examples also in order to make it clear so i hope the first form of tenses is clear to everyone let's move to second tense present continuous tense the form will be in positive sentence subject is am are then verb one with ing form he is reading ing form okay here ing form read is verb one and is auxiliary verb is also used they are reading they plural form so are and then read verb with ing form okay next negative sentence subject is mr plus are not verb one ing form example is he is not reading they are not reading next is interrogative sentences is mr in front to make it question subject verb one with ing form okay example is is he reading are they not reading all right so i hope this is clear wherever you will find ing form this is continuous tense okay let's see the uses of present continuous tense it is used for action in progress at the time of speaking it is to show the progress of the work during the time of speaking so example you are telling lies next is for action in progress about this time but not necessarily at the time of speaking example suman is reading julius caesar these days all right she is reading but not now okay she is reading nowadays for a definite action in the future a persistent habit like i am going to delhi tonight she is always backbiting in order to show definite action in the future or to show a persistent habit it is used i am going to tell it tonight okay the work will be done in future but continuity makes it present she is always backbiting so these are the examples of present continuous tense but while learning you need to note that verbs which are not generally used in continuous tenses are see hear smell notice seem appear look want wish like love hate refuge or prefer etc think no remember forget etc own have possess etc let's see the example he seems to be good this is correct he is seeming to be good is incorrect okay we cannot use ing form in continuous tense with these words so here seem cannot be seeming in continuous tense next is i know you is correct but i am knowing you is incorrect okay because we know ing form cannot be used with continuous tense with these words present perfect tense present perfect tense let's see the form in positive sentence 
first we have to use subject has and have will be auxiliary verb then verb 3 keep in mind I have told you to go through the chart of v1 v2 v3 so here v3 is important he has gone out gone is verb 3 okay they have gone out verb 3 so in this way we use tenses in positive sentences in negative sentence subject has have not plus v3 in negative sentence of course not will be used so here it is have not has not is implemented he has not gone out they have not gone out I hope it's clear interrogative sentences here we use has have plus subject plus v3 he sorry has he read it have you read it okay you all have to keep few things in mind we use since while mentioning the point of time so since May since 2 o'clock since 1982 we use for while referring to the period or length of time for an hour for two years for many days etc so here in this way you we use since and for since it is specifically denotes the continuation of work till now it was continued in past and right now also it is continued at present as well it is continued this is how it is used present perfect tense now present perfect tense is used to denote the completion of an action she has done her cooking to express her past actions without any specific time I have never seen her angry to express an action that began in the past and continued continues up to the present moment using for or since he has lived here for two years next is Raman has smoked five cigarettes just now okay Raman has smoked five cigarettes just now so these are the uses of present perfect tense in perfect tense we find third form of verb done seen lived okay smoked let's move towards present perfect continuous tense let's see the form in positive sentence we use subject has have been plus verb one with ing we know that wherever we use continuous tense we have to use ing form so here let's see the example he subject has been auxiliary verb reading continuous tense then reading for an hour so this is example of present perfect continuous tense in negative sentence we just use add and uh, we keep auxiliary verb in front subject has not been then verb one with ing form he has not been reading since morning let's move to interrogative sentence has have plus subject been and then verb with ing form let's see the example have you been waiting since 10 a.m. have you okay subject is you been waiting since 10 a.m. so this is typical example of present perfect continuous tense let's see the uses and examples to express an action that began in the past and is still in progress example he has been studying since nine o'clock it has been raining for two hours to express an action which had already finished but its effect continues in present perfect continuous tense it is used to express an action which had already finished but its effect continues example they are thirsty because they have been digging in the sun for two or three hours let's move to second tense that is past tense and its different forms first one is simple past tense let's see the form positive sentence in positive sentence of simple past tense we use subject second form of verb example is I met him yesterday he spoke politely so met is verb to spoke is verb to right negative sentence subject did not and verb one so here he did not come they did not come with did we have made it negative and come and speak it is a speak which is verb one interrogative sentence did subject and verb one did he follow you why didn't he come so this is how we find simple present tense is written uses to describe a past happening for example it rained yesterday to describe a habitual or repeated action in the past 
He studied eight hours every day. He studied eight hours every day. Okay, it is past simple past tense example. Next is past continuous tense. It's easy. We use subject in positive sentence, then auxiliary verb, then verb one with ing form. He was singing. They were dancing. All right, singing and dancing. It is con it shows continuity of the action. Negative sentence. We just use not. Subject was were not verb one and ing. You were not playing when we came. In interrogative sentence, we use auxiliary verb in front was were plus subject and verb one with ing form. Were they sleeping or pretending to sleep? Okay. Let's see past continuous tense uses to show an action in process in progress at some past moment like it was snowing in the evening yesterday. It was snowing ing form yesterday so it's past. Okay, a persistent habit in the past. She was always carrying her pet with pet dog with her. She was always carrying her dog with her. See, this is a habitual action in the past, okay, because was is present. Okay, was is there, therefore it is past tense. Now past perfect tense. In past perfect tense, we get subject had with verb 3. Example, I had left before he came. I had left, left is third form of verb, when he came. In negative sentence, we just use not, that is subject plus has had not and v3 by then they had not gone to the bed interrogative sentence had plus subject plus verb 3 he had come when he started singing he sorry had she come when he started singing had let's see the form of past perfect tense in past perfect tense the form will be subject had and then verb 3 Example is, I had left before they came. I, subject, had left, verb 3, before he came. Okay. In negative sentence, we use not. Subject, had not, and verb 3. By then, they had not gone to bed. Next interrogative sentence, had plus subject plus v3. Had she come when he started singing? Okay. Had made it question, and then subject she and then come which is verb and the ing form shows continuity of the action so this is regarding past perfect tense let's see the uses of it to, des to describe a completed action before another action began in the past the bell had rung when they entered the gate to denote an unfulfilled past desire i wish i had met her earlier so this is regarding past perfect tense Past perfect continuous tense form. Let's check, check it out. Subject had been and verb 1 with ing form. It had been raining for 2 hours by 5 o'clock. So here had been, it is there in the form. And then ing, rain is the verb and ing we have added. Negative sentence. In negative sentence we just add not into it with verb 1 ing form. He had not been waiting since Diwali when he met you. Next is interrogative sentence, had subject been verb 1 and I, verb with ing form. Had it not been raining for many days? Let's see the uses. To describe an action that began before a certain moment in the past and continued up to the moment or just stopped before it. So here, let's see the examples to make it clear. When he married her, she had been working as a teacher for two years. He had been waiting for many years before her sudden arrival. So here in these two cases we find continued work up to the moment or just stopped before the utterance of the sentence. Now we will move towards future time, future tense and let's see the comparison at first. Future time, future time, let's see the form first okay then uses and then example please see here we have simple present simple oh sorry present continuous future simple 
future continuous, future perfect and future continuous. So in simple present we describe or define future arrangements like we leave for Shimla tonight. This also shows future things that will be done. Future continuous tense form let's find out. Is MR plus going to plus verb 1. To denote an action in near future. To describe the speaker's intention, intention to do something in near future. Example, I am going to marry her. Okay. It is to show that the work will be done in upcoming days. Future simple. We use will or shall with verb 1. To express a future action, Raman will help you. I will come at 9. I will come at 9. Next, future continuous tense. Sh will, shall with be, verb 1. Okay, auxiliary verb be with verb 1 in ing form. To express a future action, to express a future action that starts before a particular moment and probably continues after it. Example, at 8 a.m. tomorrow we will be having lunch together. So here tomorrow, obviously we are dealing with future tense, so tomorrow will obviously be there. Tomorrow we will having we will be having lunch together. I hope it's clear. Future tense. Then future perfect tense. We use will, shall plus verb 1, sorry, verb 3. Okay, we use it with verb 3. To denote an action which will just have finished at a given future time. So, example will be by 2030, India will have become a superpower. Okay, so here we see future tense chart. Before you come, shall will have gone to bed. She will have gone to bed. Next is future perfect continuous. We use it with will, shall, have been, verb 1 with ing form. Let's see its uses to show a continuous future action at a given time. Example, by 4 o'clock, we will have been studying for 6 hours. So I hope it's clear to everyone. All the form I have made it here so that I can give the comparison. If anything is not clear to you all, just let me know. Let's move ahead. Let's see a few more examples and instructions of present, present indefinite and present continuous tenses. The present indefinite tense is generally used for habitual actions. It is not used for continuation action to the matter of speaking, action at the moment of speaking. Let's go through present indefinite and present continuous tenses. The present indefinite tense is generally used for habitual actions. It is not used for continuous actions at the moment of speaking. The present continuous tense is used for continuous actions. Here, the first point says the habitual action. Say for example, the first bus comes at 7 a.m. Okay, he generally speak. he generally sits on the back he often sits on the back all right but next portion is the present continuous today he is sitting on the front bench here next example is look our bus is coming this is present indefinite and present continuous tenses examples okay these all are let's see the last one on my way to college, I see many people engaged in different tasks. Let's go through present perfect and past indefinite tenses. We use the present perfect tense when we talk about something that happened in the past but do not know when it happened. For example, Sachin has broken all previous records. He has complained about it before. So he, this is example of present perfect tense because we know he has broken all the records but when we don't know okay the work is complete but when we don't know we use the past indefinite tense when we talk about something that happened at a specific time in the past or we assume that the hearer already knows when it happened for example he came yesterday 
he has come yesterday's is wrong okay this is correct but this is going to be wrong according to the rules he decided to meet you soon so these are example of past indefinite tenses now we will see past indefinite and past continuous tenses to talk about a temporary situation we use the past continuous tense while we use the past indefinite tense when we talk about a permanent or long term situation let's see the examples to make it clear her head was aching so she went home here it is past continuous tense because temporary action is being referred here that continued at that point of time next is past indefinite at that time he was staying with us when i was a child i played hockey this is also past indefinite tense so i hope this is also clear now we will move towards past indefinite and past perfect tenses we use the past perfect tense to refer to an activity that took place before another past activity for which we use the past indefinite tense for example the letter came after he had left for office so here came shows the work is complete it had rained heavily before that house collapsed it rained heavily the work is done the work is done fully so it is past perfect tense tenses in time clauses we do not use future tense in a time clause beginning with after before as soon as when until whenever while etc instead of future tense we use a sim simple or perfect tense let's see the example to make it clear he will go as soon as you come back she will sing after he has left time clause beginning with after before as soon as when until wherever whenever while etc will not be used here instead of future tense we use a simple or perfect tense so this is typical example let's students let's do some assignments based on tenses so that we can check whether the concept is clear of 12 tenses or not there are four tasks 1 2 3 4 which you all have to do in your exercise copy thank you children we will meet in our another video very soon